Telco Sports presented by Grand Lake Health. We are at St. Mary's Memorial High School to bring you high school volleyball where this line of Bulldogs take on the St. Mary's Rough Riders. Tonight's game is brought to you by American Trim, First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Winner's Meats, and K Telco, Cross Roofing, Hometown Opportunity, Minster Bank, Ply Gem, Precision Strip, Spruderman Pharmacies, New Knoxville Supply, Fowler's TV, Wilson Health, Cy Spruderman Incorporated, Carriage Works, and Kogi Plumbing and Heating and Air Conditioning. Welcome to St. Mary's Gymnasium along with Greg Burney and I'm Dave Kanapke. Good rivalry match here between Salina and St. Mary's. As you see, identical scores, their records between the two. They're both eight and 12, they're both four and three in the WBL. Head coach for the Bulldogs, Amy Sutter. Head coach for the St. Mary's first year, head coach Madison Burring. And Greg, this is no bigger game for both of these schools than their rival across Grand Lake. Yeah, both these teams coming in off of wins. Uh, St. Mary's just defeated Spencerville in three games, and uh, Salina defeated Walpock in three games. So both coming in on a high note. As you mentioned, rivalry game. There's plenty up to play for this one. Expect St. Mary's to look to Claire Berkey, their leading uh, kill getter, to lead them tonight. On the other side, for Walpock, Maria Lutz having a good season. Had 10 kills the other night versus, I'm sorry, for Salina. Uh, she had 10 kills against Walpock, and the team also had 10 aces against Walpock. So look for some aggressive serving from Salina and them to be led by Lutz. But it should be a good matchup. Slide in St. Mary's will be back with the opening lineups from return here on NK Telco Sports. At Grand Lake Health, we offer urgent care services within Joint Township District Memorial Hospital. Upon arrival, each patient is greeted and healthcare professionals assess the level of care required. Urgent care services extend your access to quality health care complete for non-life-threatening problems. Our state-of-the-art facility and host of diagnostic and treatment options allow you to receive the treatment you deserve in a timely and courteous way. Grand Lake Health Systems, the highest quality health care for you and your family. American Trim's story started in 1951, and our long family legacy continues today. We are a third-generation family-owned business with locations in Sydney and Walpaw, and we are hiring for manufacturing positions on first, second, and third shifts. Part-time and full-time positions are available for entry-level and skilled individuals. Please apply at www.amtrim.com or in person. American Trim is a proud sponsor of high school sports and our communities. Come be part of our story. Welcome back to Memorial High School here at St. Mary's, Ohio. We're getting ready for a match between the Salina Bulldogs and the St. Mary's Rough Riders. Here's the starters for Salina. Number seven, Kayla Brunswick. Number two, Becca Stein. 10, Samantha Carlin. Nine, Emma Huckenbiller. 12, Maria Lutz. Eight, Amelia Lutz. Libero is Zoe McNeilan. Again, the starting lineups are brought to you by American Trim. Head coach is Amy Sutter in her eighth year at the helm of Salina. Now the Rough Riders, also eight and 12 overall. Both of these teams are four and three in the MA and the WBL. They're tied with Walpolk for fourth place. So they do the non-starters. So you see the American Trim starting lineup for the Rough Riders, as we'll mention them as they step ahead on the lineup. Head coach is Madison Burian in her first year, a graduate of St. Henry. There's the starters, Carly K. Wood. Two, Haley Felber. Five, Addison Louth. Seven, Claire Berkey. On the setter is Abby Young. Number 22, Leah Walter. Coach again is Madison Brain for the Lady Rough Riders. So Greg, let's talk about our keys to the game brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. First, we'll start with the Lady Bulldogs. 
So for Salina, it all starts with serve receive. You got to get to the ball quickly, get it up to your setter so you can get into aggressive play right away. And then that leads us into the net play. Want to be aggressive at the net, control the net. Big key for Salina to be up front and handle things at the net here tonight. On the other side, St. Mary's. Talked about how good Salina was serving their last match with 10 aces. So St. Mary's looking to combat that by aggressively serving and taking that away from Salina. And then on the other side, eliminating errors. Rally scoring in, in uh, high school volleyball and college for that matter. And uh, every point's important. So the best way to not have those points given is to eliminate your errors. And those are your keys to the game brought to you by Keyhole Pizza in Newport, Ohio, as both teams getting ready. We talked about both these teams in fourth place in the WBL. WBL is led by OG in first place. They're number one in division three. Defiance at two at six and one. Elida at three and then you have Walpox, Salinas, St. Mary's four and three. Shawnee three and four and then Bath, Van Wert and Kenton. WBL, they'll play games tonight and also on Thursday. Salina is coming off a win over Walpock on last week. Before that, they had lost two games to Crestview in defiance. Uh, St. Mary's has won two in a row. They won last Thursday against Bath, and they knocked off St. Spencerville on Monday. So they have a busy week this week, games Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So should be a good matchup. These teams and these players, I'm sure, know each other quite well. To be St. Mary's turn to get us started here. And we'll be underway. Glad you're joining us here on NK Telco Sports. Server cross, and there's a lift to the point. We'll go to the Rough Riders. First one coming on an unforced air there from Salina. Setter Abby Young serving for St. Mary's. And there's an ace. She overpowers her, powers it on the serve. It's a good start here for the Lady Riders. Yeah, coach talked about serving aggressively. Young coming up with one there. Gives the Rough Riders a good start here in the first set. Again, a hitting error. A 3-0 start. I want to mention the libero is uh, number 15, Charissa Pretty in the game. She was 13 all WBL last year. So 3-0 start here is Abby Young serving. Set there by Carlin. In the net or a hit by Amelia Lutz for the Bulldogs. Yeah, nice set up there. We talked about serve receive. It was a good play there by Salina. Got the ball up to the freshman hitter. And she came down with that one nicely to get Salina on the board. Back to serve is Allison Brown, senior defensive specialist, just checking to line up. Lefty will serve it across. And nobody gets a little bit of a mix up and an ace. That's one way to get an ace, right? Nobody comes to town on that one. Brown will take it. So three to two on your first National Bank scoreboard. First National Bank, think first. Allison Brown serve, dug by Pretty. Chased down there by Young and free ball to cross. Carlin. We go all the way over to Lutz. That goes out of bounds to be point to St. Mary's. Another nice setup though by Salina. Just Lutz got a little too much of that one. Was shooting for the back corner line. Didn't get it. St. Mary's up four to two. Serve over by Leah Walter. Carlin will hit it to Lutz. Lutz dinks it. Hit back Caleb with the hit for the Rough Riders. Blocked at the net, Haley Felver for the Riders. Good preparation there by Felver. You see here on the replay, that play not much of a shot of getting over. Felver right on top of it. Gets the first block for a termination here for St. Mary's. It's Maria Lutz blocked back at her. Carlin will take it on the second hit. And it will fall. The setter there, Samantha Carlin with a kill. Again, nice defense up front from St. Mary's. They're really paying attention to the front line of uh, Maria Lutz and on the other side, Amelia Lutz. And they've done a nice job here early on limiting Salina's net play. McNeil and serve across. Good hit there by Berkey back on the St. Mary's side. Get across by Lutz. Chase down one. That will be wide. So give a kill there to Maria Lutz. 
First one for, Malut, for Lutz here tonight. So the McNeil and serve that just across the net. Dug by Kay Wood. Kay Wood with the kill. Claire Carly Claywood. Carly Kay Wood with the kill. Nice placement there by Kay Wood. Again, good setup by St. Mary's getting some uh, good positioning to get the ball in the setter right away, which is resulting in some strong hits and the two point lead for the Rough Riders. Six to four on the first National Bank scoreboard. Dug by McNeilan. Carlin to Lutz off the top of the net and it falls. Second the kick. kill for Maria Lutz. Nice adjustment there. Set was a little off uh, to her right. She adjusted to it in the air and still got a good hit on the ball. Sonna trying to tie it up here. St. Mary's has led the whole way, led by three to nothing to begin with. Young will set it, hit across. Dug by McNeilan. Over to Brunswick. That doesn't make it across. Point Bruff Riders. And another nice placement there. Haley Felver up on the net. <clears throat> As you'll see here on the replay. St. Mary's again has been right there on the net. Cora Ray will come in. Freshman will serve and set from the back row in this 6-2 offense. Along with Abby Brown, that's tip. There's hit by Kaywood into the net. Points Lina. First unforced air for St. Mary's here in this first set. Three now for Salina. Salina, or I'm sorry, St. Mary's hanging on to a one-point lead. Carlin with the serve as an ace. The second ace here in the first set for Salina. <clears throat> We are tied seven to seven. Both these teams eight and 12. Overall four and three in the WBL. Hit across and that's too far by Walter. So Salina takes their first lead of the night. Salina won the JB game in two sets. Carlin serve will go long. Point for the Riders. First service there, the, <clears throat> excuse me, of the first set goes to Salina. Into the front row is Leah Walter, number 22 for the Rough Riders. Tied at eight. Carlin will free ball it across. Pretty. No, by the, by the Bulldogs. Nice save there by Pretty. Walter with the hit. Carlin set, hit by Guggenbiller with the kill. Emma Guggenbiller. They had a nice play on the ball there by Guggenbiller because neither of these teams really having success getting their hitters in a good position. Nobody really got set up well. Even there on that last hit, Guggenbiller made something out of nothing, gets the kill for Salina. Kayla Brunswick serve across. Set to Walter. Nice dig in the back row. Hubble waiver and blocked by the Riders. In the front row, we had number five, Louth, and also 23, McLaughlin, on the double block. Again, nice play at the net. That is the fourth block for point here in this first set for St. Mary's. Teresa Pretty with the serve. First hit straight back. Pretty, Rabel, hit there by Berkey. But by Guckenbiller, that will be wide or long. Point for the Riders. <coughs> Much better setup there by St. Mary's. Got the ball up to Berkey right away. Got a good strong hit, even though she didn't get a kill for it. Put a lot of pressure on the Salina defense. Salina in some trouble. Nealon able to bump it across. Rabel will set in the middle to Berkey for the kill. Take another look in our Replay by Winners Quality Meets. Nice set there to Berkey. She okay, recording her first kill here the night. Leads the team in kills and blocks for the season. Two point lead for the Rough Riders. Pretty serve, dug in the back row. McNeilan will set Lutz. Deep in the back row. Hit by Walter and she finds a spot, Leah Walter. 
Timeout on the floor by Salina. <laughs> St. Mary's leads 12-9. We'll step aside. You're watching High School Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. New Knoxville Supply Company, the supply source for residential, commercial, and industrial jobs. We specialize in plumbing products from many name brands, electrical products from replacing a light switch to rewiring an entire house, heating, air conditioning, and geothermal products, sheet metal ductwork, installations, and service. We are now housing more inventory, so all the hardware items you need to complete the job are available right away. New Knoxville Supply. Stop in, call, or check us out online at newknoxvillesupply.com. 12 to 9 so far here in a closely played first set. Salina calling the timeout. <clears throat> They're pretty even match as the records uh, show coming into this. It's really going to be a matter of runs. Both these teams have a couple good hitters, but it's really serving. Both teams have shown they can serve her aggressively. Uh, Trisha Pretty back there serving right now has done a nice job for St. Mary's. But Salina definitely got some good servers. They've got uh, two aces already here in the first set. And then the other thing is just getting your hitters set up to be aggressive at the net. Both teams have struggled here thus far to make that happen. Dug by Binkley. In the middle, block on the St. Mary side. Carlin will have to hit it over. Pretty jumps in there. Rabel all the way over to Walder. Nice dig there by Binkley. Block. Berkey. One thing St. Mary's has come out strong with is their presence at the net. They've done a great job anticipating the hitters. Berkey gets a good one there for a termination kill. 13 to nine, biggest lead of the night for the Rough Riders. McNeilan to Amelia Lutz, pretty with a nice save. They're able to free ball it across, chance for the Bulldogs. Carlin in the middle, there's Brooklyn Bourne, the freshman with a kill. Yeah, nice setup. Bourne, very familiar with the kills. She's got 113 coming into this match. So just a freshman shows some uh, good power there and breaks that run for Salina. Into the front row, number 12, Maria Lutz for the Bulldogs as Bourne will go back. Brooklyn Bourne with the serve, dug by Pretty. Rabel, Walter with the kill. Nice angle shot there by Leah Walter. Her second kill of this first set. Becca Stein checks in the lineup in the back row. She replaces Bourne's spot. And in their serve will be Abby Young. Junior setter serving. Grable goes to the bench as that one sails long. First, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, first service error for St. Mary's here in the first set. In the lineup, Allison Brown as we make our second rotation through both of these teams. Brown, one of three seniors on this team. The Bulldogs, the lefty, that one didn't get a good toss there and it ends up in the net. Exactly right, Dave. You can see as soon as she tossed that up, did not give herself a very good angle. And the results is second service error for Salina here in the first set, and giving St. Mary's a four point lead. Leah Walter serve. Carlin to Lutz, she finds a spot. Maria Lutz. Maria came out on fire here to start this uh, first set. Haven't heard much of her since about the fourth or fifth point uh, early on. That is her third kill now, though, here in the first. Into the front row, number seven, Kayla Brunswick for the Bulldogs. Served by McNeilan. St. Mary's will have to free ball it across. Chance for the Bulldogs. Carlin over to Brunswick, down. Kayla Brunswick with a kill. Yeah, a nice setup there by the setter Carlin. Got great height on that. Pushed it across the other side and a great execution by Kayla Brunswick for her first kill. McNeilan serve across. Young with the set. Kill by Kaywood. Nice adjustment by Kaywood. She's going up to net. The ball kind of set behind her. She gets a good angle on it and will come down with the kill. Her second here of the first set. 16 13 on our first National Bank scoreboard. Game has been mostly led by the Rough Riders. Brunswick will have to free ball it across. Young 
will set Kaywood, dug by McNeilan. Brunswick. And be hit across by the riders. Brunswick, Carlin Lutz down. Amelia Lutz took a little bit off of it. Check that, Maria Lutz with a kill. Well, it just seems like the ball gets by Maria Lutz. It's a good chance she's gonna get a kill. That's her fourth here already tonight. Sixteen to fourteen. Poppy with a dig. Hit across by Kaywood. Carlin hit by Bourne on the line. Brooklyn Bourne. She can place it much better there. She catches the edge line. You'll see again a nice set up there by Salina, trending towards the net, and Brooklyn Bourne able to catch. The outside of that line. See the line just has his eyes right on the line, ready for the call. Young and a hit there in the middle by Addison Lauf. Dink falls. Point for the Rough Riders. Number six freshman setter Cora Rabel in to serve. As Abby Young goes to the bench in the 6-2 offense. And there's an ace, barely made it over the net. But good spot. Yeah, very good placement by Cora Rabel for her first ace and the second ace for St. Mary's here in the first set. Carlin to do the wraparound play to Brunswick. We got a net violation against St. Mary's. In the lineup, Emma Guckenbiller into the front row. She'll join Bourne and Brunswick as Carlin's serve goes into the net. Leah Walter into the lineup for St. Mary's into the front row. She had a few kills in the last rotation in the front row. Doug McNeil and Carlin able to get it over. Rabel will set Walter, never made it across. Point Salina. In the lineup, Amelia Lutz. Salina finds themselves down by two. First hit across. Led by Brunswick. Lutz is blocked there by McLaughlin. Got a net violation there against St. Mary's. After the block. Timeout on the floor. 19 to 18. Coach Byrne with a timeout for St. Mary's. We'll be right back on NK Toco Sports. At Wilson Health, we're extending care beyond the walls of the hospital with resources designed to keep you in charge of your health. Our independence and connection to the community are unique in a world where big health care strives to act like corporations. Our tools may be the same, but we are different. We're neighbors, friends, and family who truly care about the people who live here. We call it caring without limits, and it's just the beginning of a whole new Wilson Health. Take a look at St. Mary's Rough Rider round first year head coach Madison Burring. The Rough, Rise, Rough Riders clinging to a one point lead here, 19 to 18, on our first National Bank scoreboard. Yeah, if you look at the stats, it, it would explain the score. They're very even. Unforced errors, four by St. Mary's, four by Salina. Salina has a few more service errors at three. St. Mary's only has one. But pretty much consistent play throughout. Uh, Maria Lutz has had a nice, nice job up front for um, Salina and on the slip side. Leah Walter and Addison Louth and K Carly Kaywood for St. Mary's. Nice save there. Nice save by Cora Rabel. They're able to get across on three, but the kill by Brooklyn Bourne. Bourne has been a nice one-two punch to Maria Lutz. That is Bourne's third kill here as we're even now at 19. Dug by Pretty. Walter with a hit. Carlin hit long, but it was hit. Hit by Guggenmiller goes as a save. You can feel the momentum. You know, St. Mary's had led this whole first set almost entirely. Salina slowly been inching away. Took that time out a few minutes ago. And Salina just keeps rolling. Now have, I think, their first lead, if not of the set, 
the first time since very early on. Walter able to bump it across. Carlin in the middle, born with the kill. She overpowers the blockers. Uh, St. Mary's needing a, a big point here, as, as we mentioned, Salina rolling. Bourne gets another one, her fourth now here in the first set. Brunswick server cross, pretty. Rabel hit by McLaughlin and a much needed side out for the Riders. Yeah, very badly needed the second one of the first set there for McLaughlin. Teresa Pretty trying to tie up this set. Dug in the back row, Carlin. Up there by Gukenbiller, dug by the Riders. In the back row, a nice dig by McNeilan. Put there by Salina. Nice save by Pretty. Rabel goes across. Good volley going on. Back set to McLaughlin. Nice dig by Carlin. Lift on the second one. We are tied. Nice volley. A lot of very good saves by both of these teams. Some good hits. Didn't know that was ever going to end. Just some great play both ways. It's going to be a, a game of first to four here if they win by two anyway. Another good serve by Pretty. Pretty to Bourne. And the St. Mary's player in the net. So side out will give it to Slana with a one point lead. Maria Lutz into the front row. It's been a weapon for the Bulldogs. She joins Amelia Lutz. And Amba Gukenbiller in the front row. Born with the serve. Walter. Nice save by the Bulldogs, able to get it across. Rabel sets Walter. Dug by McNeilan. Carlin. Lutz. Pretty with a dig. Pushed across by Rabel. Carlin goes over to Gukenbiller for the kill. Nice hit by the right side there by Guggenbiller. Timeout by St. Mary's. We'll keep it right here. Grand Lakes Health's presentation of NK Telco Sports is being brought to you by American Trim, Frost Roofing, Hometown Opportunity, Minster Bank, By Gem, Precision Strip, Schwederman Pharmacy, New Knoxville Supply, Fowler's TV, Cy Schwederman Incorporated, Wilson Health, Carriage Works, Kogi Plumbing, Heating and Air Conditioning, Grand Lake Health, our keys to the game tonight brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. Our replays are brought to you by Winners Meats and Osgood. We'll have a player of the game sponsored by NK Telco and on our first National Bank scoreboard, Salina with a two point lead. Yeah, their hitters up front doing a nice job. We talked about net control early on. Guggenbiller now with three kills. Maria Lutz with four kills. Brooklyn Bourne with five. <clears throat> St. Mary's doing a good job as well. Breaking theirs up a little bit more, but needing to get a little momentum here, get the ball up to their hitters quickly uh, and put them in a good position to put a good, strong hit. Big point here at 23-21. St. Mary's has to free ball it across. Carlin all the way over to Lutz. Nice dig by Pretty. St. Mary's able to bump it across. Carlin to Gukenbiller and fall. Emma Guggenbiller with a kill. Yeah, back-to-back -back kills by Guggenbiller. Puts the line at set point. See here on the replay, gets a little love from the net. Born serve, and that'll be an ace. First set goes to the Bulldogs on our first National Bank scoreboard, Salina 25, St. Mary's 21. Teams will switch sides. We'll be back with game two here on NK Toko Sports. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. 
Kogi Plumbing and Heating is your Bryant Factory authorized dealer. We have brought the best of comfort, control, and plumbing services to the St. Mary's area for over 60 years. We have been Reader's Choice winners for the last four years running and excel at providing our customers with efficient and reliable heating and air conditioning as well as responsive service when a plumbing emergency arises. We insist that the products we install in our customers' homes and businesses offer the same performance and value that we expect ourselves. Call today for your next plumbing and heating or air conditioning needs. Bryant, whatever it takes. At Joint Township District Memorial Hospital, your comfort and care is our number one priority. Our surgical nerve blocks are a great way to reduce pain and can be used for arm, shoulder, hip, knee, ankle, and foot surgeries. The nerve blocks decrease the stress of surgery on your body, requires less anesthesia and pain medications, and in many cases can offer relief for several days. Visit GrandLakeHealth.org for details on all of our services. Schwiedemann Pharmacies began serving the people of Auglaise County in 1916 when Urban Schwiedemann purchased the building and business from J.H. Hoffman. The New Bremen location is one of the longest running pharmacies in the country, with over 110 years of serving its patrons. Since then, four more stores have been added, Coldwater, St. Mary's, Minster, and Wapakoneta to round out the group. Our services include prescription refills, home medical equipment, nursing home services, customized compounded medication, vaccinations, and so much more. The first set, a comeback win of a close match. Salina wins 25-21. Yeah, Salina really did what we talked about with those keys towards the later part of that set, which was the serve received the ball well and control the net. Uh, they did a really nice job of getting the ball up front to their hitters. Guggenmiller ended up with four kills, so did Maria Lutz, and uh, Brooklyn Bourne had five. On the other side, St. Mary's by no means had a bad set. They were right in it to the very end. Just couldn't quite get their hitters in a, in a good position to power their way through that set. They got a couple kills from Kaywood, kill from Felver, kill from Louth, kill from Berkey, two kills from Walter, two kills from McLaughlin. So uh, they spread theirs out a little bit more right there at the end. They just need to try to get the balls received a little bit. Really struggled with the serving. We talked about Salina's aggressive serving. They had three aces in that first set. Warren starts us off with a serve. Hit by Walter, dig by Bourne. Right side. <clears throat> Walter with a nice hit. Leo Walter with a kill. Nice setup there. Walter gets another kill, her third now on the night. Abby Young, the setter, will rotate back. Looks over to Coach Burring. 2015. Graduate of St. Henry, she was player of the year in the MAC that year as her St. Henry team went all the way to state finals before they lost a tough match. Burring played volleyball at Ohio Northern since then. It'll be a violation against Salina. So two nothing for the home team. Both of these teams, eight and two overall, both of them tied for third in the WBL at four and three. And of course, bragging rights between these two rivals. Walter will hit it across. Doug by McNeilan. Carlin to Lutz, off the blockers. Maria Lutz, or check that, Amelia Lutz. Good location there by Amelia Lutz. Gets it off the double block. Gets a slant on the board here in the second set. Allison Brown in to serve. Lefty senior defensive specialist. Dug by Kay Wood. Purdy chases it down. Bumped across. Chance for the Bulldogs. Carlin slide play to Walter. But Gillette's hit across. All the way over it's Lutz. Nice dig by Kay Wood. Walter will hit it block back at her. Into the net, or four hits never made it across. A point for Salina. Two to two in the second set on our first National Bank scoreboard. Salina won the first set 25 21. Hit there by Berkey. That will go just out of bounds. It's a point for Salina. A good setup there by St. Mary's. Good slide play, getting Berkey set up on the move. Just a little bit outside. 
Brown continues to serve and an ace right on the line. Kaywood tried to dive, not able to get to it. And Brown, a very aggressive server. She puts a lot on that ball and she goes up at it. Gets the ace there, the first one here in the second set. Jump serve, dug by Purdy. They cross the line side, Carlin takes it over in two. Young with the set to Walter. Lutz dug by Pretty. Walter again off the top of the net. I think that would have been out of bounds. But it goes off a Salina player. Second kill by Walter here in the second set. Even her total of four as you see the replay off the double block. Walter serve across, dug there by Stein. Go over to Lutz, dug by Pretty. Back set hit by Felver. Point St. Mary's. A net violation against Salina. Had quite a few of them so far here. Dug by Stein. Set to Lutz. Not able to save it. Kill by Maria Lutz. Fifth kill for Maria Lutz on the night. She leads the team in kills and blocks on the season. As Zoe McNeilan will serve. Up five to four. Kay Wood. Bumped across by Brunswick. And it will fall. So Mary's not able to get that second hit. It's so lining out with a two-point lead on our first National Bank scoreboard. Yeah, see if St. Mary's can turn the tables here. Salina trailed a lot that first set. St. Mary's just need to get on a roll there. Nice set up to Berkey. Can't quite get it to fall. Pretty steps up. Sets Kaywood with the dink. Nice save by Brown, but not able to get the second one. So give the kill to Carly Kaywood. Going back to the back row will be Claire Berkey. A very close game so far. The first one, I don't think the lead was more than four the whole way by either team. And this game's following the same way. Hit by, Go by Brunswick, Kayla Brunswick with a kill. Four kills now in the night for Brunswick. Two here in the second set. Salina on this season, they, their WBLs have been wins over Shawnee, Kenton, Bath, and Walpaw, where they lost to Elida, OG, and Defiance. Kaywood never made the cross. So we'll take another look. Might have made it, it might have been blocked there. Young will set Felver. Hit by Carlin, overpass, put away by Bourne. First time we heard Brooklyn Bourne's name here in the second set. She had five kills in the first. It's biggest nice. lead in the second set here at, but we have it at three, I think it's at four, at oh. nine, five. Open up a little bit of daylight. Young will go to Kaywood, nice hit, Carly Kaywood. It's one of the few times this second set, <clears throat> excuse me, St. Mary's has done a nice job. Got that ball in a good location for Kaywood to really strike it hard. Into the front row, Carson McLaughlin, number 23 for the Rough Riders, and in to serve the freshman, Cora Rabel. Doug by McNeilan. Free ball to cross. Rabel. The set McLaughlin. With the kill, Carson McLaughlin. Third kill now for McLaughlin. Rabel serve across. Nealon, Carlin chases it down. Goes over to Bourne, block back. Brunswick wants it. She dinks it. Back set McLaughlin. Brunswick this time will dink it. 
Nice save by Rabel. Well, McLaughlin again never made it across. Side out will give it to Salina. Head coach for Salina, Amy Sutter, in her eighth year at her alma mater. Ace by Carlin, not able to handle that one. Second ace for Carlin, she had one in the first set as well. Samantha was a third team WBL last year as a sophomore. Junior having a nice night setting the ball. St. Mary's having some trouble. They're able to just get it inside the candy cane. Hit there by Guckenbiller. There's Kaywood with a kill. A nice set up there by Chloe McNeil. And I'm sorry, that was uh, Cora Rabel. To set up Kaywood for her third kill here in the second set. Kaywood into the back row to serve. Dug by Guggenbiller, Carlin, the Bourne block back on the Salina side. In the back row will be McNeilan, and she jumped when she hit it. She's a back row player by definition of Zalbero, so that's an illegal hit. Okay, would serve across McNeilan. Carlin Brunswick. St. Mary's within one. Back-to-back -back unforced errors by Salina. St. Mary's able to put together a rally, as you mentioned. They were trailing by four, now just down by one. Kaywood serving for the third time in a row. Born, nice save by Kaywood. Pretty to Walters. McNeil and Binkley bumped across. Salina survives that. Walter blocked down. Looks like it was Guckenbiller on the block. Also, Bourne was there as well. Good response by Salina. Hanging on to a two-point lead. Kayla Brunswick serve across. It's dig by Kaywood. Good pass over to Walter. Nice set there by Rabel. Nice soft hands. Got it right where Walter could put it away. Third kill for Walter here in the second set. Her fifth now on the night. Rough Riders trying to tie it here is Teresa. Pretty with the serve. Nice dig there by Binkley. On the right side, down on Salina, and we are tied at 12. A block there by Berkey and Walter. Go, 12 to 12, Salina had a four point lead here earlier. So Marys has come back. Hit by Bourne, chased down by Rabel. Purdy will have to bump set it to Walter. She finds a spot right in the middle. And Leah Walter having a heck of a second set, her fourth kill, and also has a block as you see the replay. She just found the, the opening there in the middle. Purdy serving with a lead. Dug by Binkley. In the middle of Bourne, nice hit. Authority behind that one. Seven kills on the night for Brooklyn Bourne. Answers to even us up at 13. Maria Lutz into the lineup. For the Bulldogs into the front row. Goes by Kay Wood. Rabel to Walter and it's blocked back, rides the tight. The tape for a while and falls in the St. Mary's side. Yeah, Guggenbiller up front there with Maria Lutz for Salina. Good setup again by St. Mary's. Just a little bit better block from Salina. Warren serving 14 13 on our first National Bank scoreboard. Kaywood pretty chases it down. Not able to get the third one across. St. Mary's not able to get to that one, but I'm not sure there's a ball that Pretty can't get to. Yes. She is very quick on her feet. Unfortunately, St. Mary's just come up a little short there. They have chased down a lot of balls just to save them. Not that time. Walter on the Salina side. Carlin in the middle. Lutz through the blockers. Maria Lutz. Maybe a timeout on the floor. 
by St. Mary. Salina leads by three. We'll be right back on NK Toko Sports. At CAPT, we use hometown opportunity to make sure that when we have a position open within the facility, it gets put on the website. We've really been excited to see how that has grown so much over the last several years. If anyone is looking for a job, it's the, it's the best place to go. We really want to do whatever we can to get folks that are from this community back to this area. I would recommend any manufacturing company that they take a look at it. It's a very good benefit for companies at no cost. Welcome back to NK Delco Sports, presented by Grand Lake Health. Salina took the first set, 25-21. We've had another close set here as Salina now with a three-point lead. Yeah, it's been very even again. Both these sets really about the exact same place. The, the first set, St. Mary's was in the, the lead at this point by a couple of points, so they, they got some work to do, but I've had good sets from Carly Cabin with three kills and also Leah Walter with four. So. St. Mary's playing some solid ball here. Salina playing it right along with them. Just going to have to uh, get on a run here to finish out this second set. 16 to 13 is born with the serve. Dug by Kay Wood. Berkey in the middle. Nice dig by McNeil and is in the right spot. Back set by Guckenbiller with the kill off the set by Carlin. Big point there by Guggenbillers that pushes the Salina lead to four. Nice back set on the play by Carlin as well to set it up to Guggenbiller. Server cross, Walter will dink it. There's Carlin. McNeilan will bump set. Let's hit, and it falls on the St. Mary's side. A player in the net there from St. Mary's. That's their fifth unforced error here in the second set. Salina so starting to pull away now with a five point lead. Walter with the kill. Yeah, nice play there by Cora Gable, or Rabel, sorry, to uh, gather that first, that first pass. As you see her exit out there, it was a tough pass. You're able to get it up high to Walter, who's able to put it away for her fifth kill here in the second set for St. Mary's. Rabel did a nice job in her rotation around the set. She's replaced by the junior now, Abby Young. Back on the St. Mary's side. Young will set Walter. Never made it across. Side out to the Bulldogs. We've got quite a, quite a mixture of different grades. We have some freshmen on both of these teams playing. Not a lot of seniors, five for St. Mary's, only three for Salina. And it's been a pretty even match, but Salina now with a five-point lead here in the second set. Felver with the hit, just made it across. Set to Lutz, powers it. That's just a little bit too much power. As Pretty tried to dive for it, and fortunately for her, she missed it. Yeah, you'll see the replay here. There's another solid hit by the freshman, Lutz. And that one called just out. Dig there by Stein, hit by Lutz. Close to the net on the St. Mary's side. And we have a net violation against uh, Berkey. Salina is the first to 20. Zoe McNeilan to serve. In the back row, number 24, Jordan Egbert, just with a dig. Hit by Berkey. Nice save in the back row. Get across too far. Point Riders. Good recognition there by St. Mary's. Big point. They need to throw three or four together here to get back in this match. And I should say this set in this match for that matter. They... Claire Berkey with the serve. Dug by Bank Nealon. Hit across by Carlin. A little mix up on the second one. Point for Salina. Unforced errors adding up here for St. Mary's. That's eight now here in the second set. Brooklyn Bourne into the front row for Salina. 
is just four points away. From taking a 2-0 lead here in this match. Nice hit there by Addison Lau for the Riders. Lauf just a freshman. Much needed point there is another freshman. Cora Rabel checks in the lineup. Also Carson McLaughlin Southmore into the front row for Coach Brary. Still down by four late. Need a run for if you're a St. Mary's fan. Back set Brunswick off the top of the net and it falls. Fifth kill for Brunswick here now tonight. Timeout on the floor. We'd like to thank our sponsors for Green Lakes House presentation of NK Telco Sports being brought to you by American Trim, Frost Roofing, Hometown Opportunity, Minster Bank, Ply Gem, Precision Strip, Schroederman Pharmacies, New Knoxville Supply, Fowler's TV, Cy Schroederman Incorporated, Wilson Health, Carriage Works, Kogi Plumbing, Heating and Air Conditioning, Grand Lake Health, Keys to the Game sponsor, Keyhole Pizza, Replay sponsor is Winner's Meats. On our first National Bank scoreboard, we're in the second set, Salina with a five point lead. Got big time out here for St. Mary's, trying to see if they can recover and take this second set. They lost the first one. Not too terribly far behind here, but at the same time, with rally scoring, really no room for mistakes. They're going to have to play. They're going to have to clean it up quite a bit. As I mentioned a minute ago, they have eight unforced errors. They can't afford to have any more of these, those down the stretch here if they want to try to salvage this second set. Carlin now back to serve in the serve will set out of the back row is into the front row is Emma Guckenbiller for the Lady Bulldogs. Dug there by Egbert. Hit across by McLaughlin. McNeilan with a pass to Carlin. Bourne. Carlin chases it down. Bourne will hit it again. Dug by Egbert. Back set to McLaughlin. Close to the net, Bourne. Good job by Rabel. Bumped across for Salina. Chance for St. Mary's. Rabel go all the way to Kaywood. Dug by Binkley in the middle, Bourne. Good volley going on. Bumped across by St. Mary's. Carlin back set and every made it across. The long point goes to the Lady Rough Riders. They're very persistent there by St. Mary's. As you mentioned, it's a long point. Good setup there by Salina. Better defense from Kaywood there, blocking it for the Rough Riders, still trailing by four. Kaywood with the serve. Back set to Brunswick, who hits it across. Walter, nice dig by McNeil, and she's been there a lot of the times in the back row. Kill, Kayla Brunswick. And nobody in the back row there for St. Mary's. That's the fourth kill here in the second set from Brunswick. And she'll go back to serve now for Salina. You know, the front row, Amelia Lutz, freshman number eight for the Bulldogs. There's Walter blocked back. Now on the Salina side, hit by Lutz. They'll try Walter again. Dug by Brunswick. There's Lutz again through the blockers. Amelia Lutz. Big point there by Salina. They're now just one point away from taking a 2-0 lead here in this match. Set serving 18 for the Bulldogs. Rabel chases it down, hit across too long. Set two goes to the Bulldogs in the first National Bank scoreboard. They take the second set 25 to 18. They won the first one 25-21. As they switch sides, we'll be back with the third set here on NK Toko Sports. At Minster Bank, we understand that life can get hectic. That's why when it comes to your banking, we offer the services that make your life simpler with tools like person-to-person -person payments, pop money, mobile and online banking, and bill pay. But most of all, Minster Bank is a supportive member of your community with personal relationships and customer service that reach outside of our branches. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. 
I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. Welcome back to Grand Lace Health presentation with NK Toco Sports. We're at beautiful Muratech Court here at St. Mary's Memorial High School with the visiting team, Salina, with a 2-0 lead as they win the last set, 25-18. Yeah, Salina just a little bit better. It's kind of almost a repeat of the, of the first set. They've been able to finish at the end. St. Mary's gotten their way a little bit towards the end of that second set. Nine unforced errors, really their undoing uh, in that game. Really had a nice game otherwise. Kaywood three kills, uh, Louth had a kill, blocked from Berkey, uh, five kills from Leo Walter who has seven now on the night. A solid a solid match, they just need to clean, clean it up a little bit, get their hitters in better spots so they can finish those plays and uh, limit their unforced errors. Walter not able to get it across. Salina takes the first point in the third set. Yeah, great example right there. You, know, you do the preparation to get it all set up. Unfortunately, it's hitting the net, which doesn't cause the defense to have to react at all. It's basically a free point. And as those build up throughout the game, they take their toll. Brown serve across. Felver with a hit. The kill by Haley Felver. Second kill of the night from Felver. Leah Walter back to serve for the Rough Riders. Tied at one. Carlin back set to Lutz. Nice dig there by Young. Hit across. McNeilan. There's Lutz with a kill. Amelia Lutz. The fourth kill of the night now for the freshman Lutz. McNeilan back to serve. Back set to Berkey. Nice dig by Brown. They're able to not able to get it across as it goes wide. Point for the Riders. You don't want to curse these two teams, but they've done a great job serving. St. Mary's only had one service there in the first set. They didn't have any in the second. Salina only had three in the first set, and they didn't have any in the second set. So serving-wise, both these teams have been very good. Claire Berkey serve across. Brunswick blocked and back on the Salina side. Carlin to Lutz. Nice save by Young, but nobody for the second one. Maria Lutz with the kill. Seventh kill of the night now for Maria Lutz and an early 3-2 advantage for Salina. Brooklyn Bourne back into the front row. Both these teams will play in the OG district this coming week in the tournament draw. St. Mary's got a nine seed. They'll travel over to Van Wert next Tuesday for their first match. Winner of that game will play the number one seed at Bryan team. As that one goes into the net. Right on cue, right? Yeah, and on the <laughs> opposite side, way opposite side of the bracket, Salina will host Napoleon. Salina was able to get a seven seed. They'll play the number 12 seed, Napoleon. The winner of that game will play the winner of Toledo Central Catholic and Toledo Woodward. And we're at tournament time next week, so hard to believe. Colin hits it across. Bumped by McLaughlin. Carlin, Brunswick, point. Kayla Brunswick with a kill for the Bulldogs. Seventh kill now for Brunswick on the night. Junior set of Samantha Carlin. Look by Pretty. Rabel with a nice back set. And a kill there by Carly Kaywood. Nice, excuse me, nice adjustment there by Kaywood to be able to get a good shot on that ball and drop it for the kill to even us up here in the third set at four. Leah Walter checks into the lineup. 
We're tied four to four. Salina has won the first two sets, but they've been very closely played sets. Grimswick's hit across, and we will have a double hit against the Lady Riders. Coming in for the Lady Riders in the back row, Jordan Egbert, number 24. It's Kayla Brunswick back to serve for the Bulldogs with a one-point lead. Dug by Egbert. Walter covered by Carlin. Home set to Lutz, block back. Weren't able to save that on the off the block. Walter hits it across. Back set, not able to make it across. Point Riders. A good persistence there by St. Mary's. Really didn't get any great opportunities. Played good defense and puts the line in a tough spot. Able to come away with the point. St. Mary's coming off a pair of wins over Beth and Spencerville. Salina coming over a win over Walpock and Brooklyn Bourne. Kill from the middle. Bourne putting together a nice night. She now has eight kills for the Bulldogs. Number 12, Maria Lutz checks into the front row for Salina. He joined us late. Both these teams with identical records, eight and 12 overall. Tied for fourth in the WBL with a four and three record. Both will wrap up the regular season next week. Big hit and a nice save by Bourne, but there's a block by Leo Walter. Second block on the night for Walter. Walter smoked her first spike there and Bourne saved it. I think she was mad and decided <laughs> to block it back. I think she was pretty sure she had a kill and Solana made a nice play on the ball. Abby Young into serve and set for the Lady Riders, tied at six. Carlin with a nice play out of the net. There's Walter again. They've got time by Stein, hit by Lutz. Nice save by Pretty. Felber with a hit. You're gonna have a double hit against the Riders. Jackson Brown into the lineup. St. Mary's will be here. Check that. Salina will be home against Van Wert tomorrow where St. Mary's will travel to Defiance. I said tomorrow, I really mean Thursday, the 10th of October. Felver with a hit, Nealon with another big. Stein and then Carlin, they're gonna get across for the Bulldogs. Slide play over to Berkey. Not able to make it across, so the kill will go to Claire Berkey. Well, it's Lina not making anything easy. They battled all the way to the end of that one, trying to get it back across, but another a nice kill there for Claire Berkey. Just her second kill on the match. It's unusual as Berkey leads the team with kills on the season. Lutz for the kill. Maria Lutz that time from the right side. Caleb Brunswick checks into the lineup in the front row. She joins Carlin and Maria Lutz. Coach Amy Sutter, they're trying to finish it out here in three. Nealon serve across. Kaywood. And it falls. Carly Kaywood with the kill. And a nice serve received there. I believe that was from Pretty back there. Got it up front quickly to the setter. And Kaywood able to record the kill, her seventh now of the night. Addison Louth in the game for St. Mary's, number five in the front row. There's Lutz again. We did that time by Kelsey Poppy of St. Mary's. Now back on the St. Mary's side. Young will set Kaywood for the kill. St. Mary's in a good rhythm right now. Back to back kills there by Kaywood. Eight kills now for her on the evening. Perky serve across. Dug by Stein. They'll go to Brunswick. Chase down, not able to get the third one. So give the kill to Kayla Brunswick. A little miscommunication there by St. Mary's. Did a great job getting to that ball. And then didn't communicate after that, and it falls. Another kill for Kaywood. I'm sorry, Brunswick. Nine to nine. 
on our first National Bank scoreboard. Dug by Kaywood. And there'll be a double hit on St. Mary's. So Salina take, retakes the lead. Dug by Kaywood. Back set Felber. Dug by Brown. Carlin Bourne hammers it. She had a little bit of extra elevation, it seemed like, at the late last minute there. So taking a look. As we go to a timeout here, Bourne gets another nice swing on the ball. A great location in the back row. We'll step aside. We'll return here on NK Toko Sports. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Welcome back to Mirror Tech Court here for NK Telco's sports presentation by Grand Lake Health. As you look at the St. Mary's Rough Riders, around first year head coach Mar Madison Brewing. They're down 0 2 in sets. They're down 90 11 here in the third set. Yeah, they've been in every one of these games. It's just a matter of taking advantage of some opportunities. They're really, they track the ball down well. <clears throat> they struggle, have struggled at times to get it up to their setter to get themselves in a good position. Great example there. A nice recovery though by uh, Kaywood to get that one across. Hit by Bourne for the kill. The tough part is when you scramble like that to get a ball set up, it puts you out of position. Bourne was a good observation there, hitting the ball deep. She's had a solid night. That is uh, kill number 10, sorry, eight. It'll be an ace for Salina. Talked about Madison Burian being a St. Henry grad. There are six different St. Henry coaches in the area. Four in the MAC, that'd be New Bremen, Diana Kramer, St. Henry is Trisha Rosenbeck. Minster has Cami Garman, Versailles has Kenzie Brueggemann. So that one sails on. And then in Le at Lehman, you have Carolyn Damire, all St. Henry graduates. That shows you a lot of the tradition they had for a lot of years and still do at St. Henry. They like volleyball there a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> That serve goes wide. A lot, that, a lot of those players were under longtime coach D.D. Stoner for St. Henry, and then it moved to Lori Schwerderman, and then to Diana Kramer, who has since moved on to Bremen, and now that's under the care of Trisha Rosenbeck, who's right now St. Henry's ranked number one in the state in Division Four. Brown from the back row. Gable sets it to Kaywood. Chased down by McNeilan. All the way over, Brunswick will bump it across. Rabel, McLaughlin with a nice hit from the right side. A nice set up there by Cora Rabel. The finish by McLaughlin, her third, fourth kill of the match. <clears throat> Rabel goes back to serve. Dug by Brown. Into the middle, Brunswick blocked. Looks like it was Addison Lauf on the block for the Rough Riders. Her first block on the night. Couple big points there by St. Mary's. Cuts the lead down to just two. <clears throat> Rabel serve across. Dug by Binkley in the middle. Tipped by Bourne, chased down by the Rough Riders. K. will hit it flat-footed. Carlin, Brunswick. Nice dig by the Riders. Lauf, nice save by Carlin. He'll set Brunswick. Kaywood's there. Rabel tries to push it over on two. Carlin has it, or Brown had it. Bourne shot, does not make it. And the Rough Riders within one. Yeah, nice job defensively there by St. Mary's, not giving in there. Been four straight points for the Rough Riders ever since Coach Burring called the timeout. Brunswick hits the cross, dug by Rabel, so pretty. Will set Kaywood for the kill. 
Nice job there by Teresa Purdy. She stepped up, she had to do the set, and she did a nice bump set. Fourth kill for Carla Kaywood here in set number three. Number eight total for her on the match. We are tied 14 to 14. With that nine kills, sorry. It's an elimination <laughs> game for St. Mary's. That one sails long. It's her first serving error in two sets. Emma Guggenbiller comes into the back row. Samantha Carlin with the serve. McLaughlin across. Dug by McNeilan. Born again, but this one a little bit wide. Had some good power, but sails outside the corners. We'll take another look. She's got a quick wind up down the middle there. As you see on the replay, it sails just out by about six inches. All these replays are brought to you by Winners Quality Meats in Osgood, Ohio. Pretty chases it down, Rabel. Nice back set them to Laughlin. Carlin, Guckenbiller through the double blockers for the kill. Seems like uh, <clears throat> as we get later into these sets, Guggenbiller starts to pop up. You know, she's pretty quiet throughout. That's just her first kill here in set number three. Number seven, Caleb Brunswick with the serve, dug by Egbert. Rabel, hit by Balder a little bit too long. Looking for a tip, will not get it. It's a good shot there uh, from Walter. 17-15, Riders closed it or tied it at 14-14. This line has responded since. McLaughlin's hit is too long. This is the part we talked about in the last set. This really got to clean up a little bit. Playing a good team, you're very evenly matched. Can't give away three points. There's back-to-back -back unforced errors by St. Mary's. <clears throat> Walter blocked. Good block there by Guckenbiller and also Bourne. Game's reaching a critical mass if you are right now. A four point lead late by Salina. And a must need game for St. Mary's. Brunswick continues to serve. Dug by Egbert. Nice hit. Kill by Leah Walter. First kill for Walter here in set number three. <clears throat> Claire Berkey into the front row. Libero, Teresa Pretty, senior. A nice job in the back row for Coach Burring. She looks over to Coach Burring for what zone she wants her to serve. I don't think that's the zone. Is it one a little bit wide? Puts the line now at 20, leading by four. Another good hitter is Maria Lutz. Checks into the front row, but Brooklyn Bourne to the back row. First hit right back on the Salina side. They go to Lutz. Nice save by Pretty. Pushed across by Rabel. McNeilan. Guckenbiller. Egbert digs it. Back set to McLaughlin. Close to the net. Lutz will just take it across. Pretty chases it down again. Get across. That will go wide. <clears throat> Point Salina. Well, neither team really getting into any kind of offense there. <clears throat> Excuse me as we go to a timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball here on NK Toko Sports. Plygem Residential Solutions is part of Cornerstone Building Brands, North America's largest manufacturer of exterior building products. And the success of our company is directly related to the contributions of our employees. We are currently looking for machine operators, maintenance technicians, forklift operators, and more to join our growing team at our facility in Sydney, Ohio. PlyGem offers competitive pay, a full benefits package, as well as opportunities for bonus pay and long-term advancement. Become a part of our strong foundation. Welcome back to Grand Lake's health presentation of NK Toco Sports. We have two Grand Lake rivals here, Salina and St. Mary. Salina's won the first two sets. They're threatening to take it in three. As Coach Madison Brary for St. Mary's takes a timeout. And trailing by five, St. Mary's in need of some big points here in a hurry. This line has been pretty consistent throughout. 
They've had right around four or five unforced errors each set. Unfortunately, St. Mary's has had a little more than that, uh, eight or nine in the last two sets here. But that is the third service error here in the third set for Salina. So a little hope left for St. Mary's. They're just gonna have to really put together a big run here, something they've struggled to do so far tonight. For St. Mary's, Haley Felver in the front row. So for a server cross there by Kelsey Poppy for the point. They checked that. That was Abby Young with the serve. St. Mary's needs about a run here to cut this three point deficit. Rally scoring late. It's hard to come back. Bumped across. Chance for the Rough Riders. Young will set Berkey for the kill. Claire Berkey. Second kill for Berkey here in the third set. Her third kill of the match. St. Mary's will take a few more of those. Within two, Carlin, Guggenbiller, too long. <clears throat> and then another timeout, this time on the Salina side. As we will step aside, we'll return on NK Toko Sports. CarriageWorks has expanded and now can hold up to 25 cars in our service bay. CarriageWorks thrives on customer satisfaction. We accomplish that by providing top-of-the-line technology. CarriageWorks now uses a laser beam system to measure down to the millimeter of factory specs to better service you and get you back on the road. CarriageWorks has a brand new top-of-the-line paint booth that uses waterborne paint. There's no job too big or too small for CarriageWorks. We are certified collision specialists. Come in and see us today. We're in the third set here with Grand Lakes Health presentation of NK Toco Sports. St. Mary's creeping back within one here, 21-20. A big rally, St. Mary's, they put three straight together. Need to continue as they still trail here. Rally point scoring is gonna be a point every serve, so they need to continue that momentum, not the one they needed there as that serve sails long. Allison Brown checks in. Salina three points away from finishing this match against their arch rival. Dug by Egbert. Young with a back set, and it will fall. Hit by Leo Alder. Ninth kill on the night for Walter. She'll go back to serve for the Rough Riders, trailing by one. Junior with the serve. Dug by Brown. Carlin over to Lutz. Hit over there. And Amelia Lutz puts it away. And that was all Lutz points there. She hit it across the first time, got the overplay. And then checks out on this line of lineup. Checking in the back row, Kelsey Poppy for St. Mary's. Junior as they await the serve by Junior Libero Zoe McMillan. 23 21, critical point here for St. Mary's. Kaywood will tip it. Dug by Brown. Carlin Lutz block back on the Salina side. Hit by McNeilan. Pretty chases it down. Kaywood is Brown to cover. And that is blocked out of bounds on the hit by Brunswick. And the point goes to Salina. They are now at match point, 24-21. Hit by Kaywood for the kill. Big kill there by Kaywood, was much needed. Kill number 10 now for Kaywood on the match. Addison. Add on to some, some last hope there for St. Mary's. Need to run three in a row here. Actually, two in a row would even it up. Berkey, Carlin blocked back. Brown to Lutz. Dug by Poppy. Kaywood blocked. Hit across. Big hit, Addison Lauf. 
So the Riders need one more here as we'll take another look. Yeah, good resilience again there by St. Mary's. Gonna need to do it one more time. Big point here. Brown with the dig. Carlin backs that. Lutz puts it away. Salina wins this match. Final score on the first National Bank scoreboard, 25-21, 25-18, and 25-23. Greg and I will be back to wrap it up here on NK Toko Sports. Here's the thing. If you're the kind of guy who eats, sleeps, and breathes farming, who gets up at dawn, determined to get the best crop and the best yield, why surrender to the mercy of the water table? Cy Schwiedemann Incorporated can lower your water table to an average of two to three feet below the surface, allowing you to grow stronger, healthier plants that root deeper, that are more resilient to the elements, that enable longer growing seasons, and can produce higher results in the fields and in your pocket. Trust CSI, your drainage experts since 1946. Trust us! NK Telco a small town company with a big focus on customer service. We build business the old fashioned way. Trust us to be your internet provider. Trust us to help you find the right cable package for your viewing needs. Trust us to answer your questions any time of the day. Trust NK Telco to be on call. Deliver and make sure your service is tailored to meet your needs. We serve commercial and residential customers to meet their communication needs. Trust us at NK Telco. Trust us! Take your game day party to the next level with a new TV and Sono sound system from Fowler's TV in St. Mary's. A Sono system takes the action into every room of your home and outdoors. Break your home into zones and control the content and level right from your phone or tablet, enabling you to enjoy the game or not with the touch of a finger. Add a security camera system connected to your TV from Fowler's and never leave another friend stuck outside in the cold. Fowler's TV, taking game day to the next level. Hope you enjoyed this Grand Lake Health presentation of NK Telco Sports. As you see on our first National Bank scoreboard, Salina takes it in three straight sets over St. Mary's. Three close games. Salina prevailed at the end of every one with the final numbers. Mr. Greg Burning. Thanks, Dave. First of the home team, St. Mary's Rough Riders, they were led with Carly Kaywood with 10 kills and a block. Uh, Haley Felver had two kills and a block. Addison Lau, four kills and a block. Cora Rabel, an ace. Claire Berkey, three kills, two blocks. Abby Young, two aces. Leah Walter, nine kills and two blocks. And Carson McLaughlin with four kills. On the other side, for this line of Bulldogs, uh, Caleb Brunswick with nine kills. Amelia uh, Lutz with five kills. Emma Guggenbiller with six kills and three blocks. Samantha Carlin with a kill, a block, and two aces. Allison Brown with two aces. Maria Lutz with nine kills and a block. Brooklyn Bourne with 10 kills, a block, and an ace. And Taylor Binkley with an ace. Slina is record now nine and 12 on this season. They go to five and three in the WBL. St. Mary's falls to eight and 13 overall. They're four and four in the, in the four and four now in the WBL. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good match all the way throughout. You know, both these teams pretty evenly matched. I think Salina did a little better job of getting the ball to the hitters. Their, their first pass genuinely went right up to the net, to the setter in a good position. Uh, St. Mary seemed to struggle with that a little bit more, hence a uh, few more unforced errors uh, throughout. Both teams served very well, especially in the second set. No service errors at all. Um, Salina and St. Mary's both had three service errors at the end there, but St. Mary's just coming up a little bit short uh, in each set, and St. Mary's just, say, or I'm sorry, Solani able to come up with the big hits at the right time. Let's talk about our player of the game, sponsored by NK Telco. We will go to senior for St. Mary's, the libero, Teresa Pretty. Now we've seen a lot of players play that position in this area, watch a lot of different volleyball. She might be the fastest. She gets to a ton of balls. There were a lot of balls that looked like they were going to drop no problem, and she would track them down. Uh, did a great job all around for the Rough Riders tonight. So congratulations, Teresa. Pretty congratulations to the Slina of Bulldogs as they defeat their rivals, St. Mary's Rough Riders in three. For our director, Bryce Hamrick, and assistant, Ian Bolheimer, on camera, John Schwederman, my partner, Greg Burning, I'm Dave Kanapke. Thanks for watching here on NK Toko Sports.